Jackson of Denver, Colorado, attempts to take the crown from Benny Urquidez. Urquidez of Los Angeles, California, has 30 wins, no losses, and two draws in the professional full-contact ring. He also holds black belts in karate, judo, and kendo. Ross Scott and Everett Eddy will be fighting for that light, uh, that heavyweight crown. So Gary Bender and Joe Corley were in Las Vegas for the fights. Without further delay, let's pick up action in round number three in that lightweight full-contact karate championship. Yes. Round three now. What do you think thus far through the first two rounds? It looks to me like Howard Jackson probably has taken the first couple of rounds. Was that partially blocked? There's a pretty good spinning kick. Yeah, that one was blocked. Howard has really got the stamina. It looked to me like he was tiring a little bit last time, but it looks like he's coming back strong now. Good left again. Good solid left hand. Good solid right hand. This would be a major upset if Jackson could pull this one off. It really could, but Benny's been hit a number of times and been hit hard and, and uh, only been knocked Bring off up. his feet a couple of times. Urquidez has won 25 fights by knockout, so he can come back at you. That's right. Again, Jackson on the left of the screen, Urquidez on the right. Round three, the lightweight championship fight. Urquidez is starting to pick his shots a little more. You'll see him sliding away from kicks and staying inside, just doing a really short shot. shot. fighting slow. machine, and I can understand why, Joe. He being your tedious. He's not in a big hurry right now. He's still laying back, knowing that he's got plenty of time to do what he has to do. Benny looks at this as a job. When he comes in to do his job, he does it in the most effective way that he can. Knows that he has to go nine rounds. Yeah, Try to get the impression to do that your tedious kind of has a mean streak in him. No, he really doesn't have a mean streak so much as he has a determined streak. He, uh, he never wants to hurt anybody, but he definitely has a strong winning desire. Oh, hard shot by, by Benny, followed by a, a good slip of Howard's left hand. Look to me like Jackson hanging on just a little bit after that one. Yep, just a little. So round three now with ten seconds to go. Howard Jackson doing very well in the first three rounds of the scheduled nine-rounder. Colorado, there's some talk that should he lose today, he might end his career. I understand uh, there was some talk of that, but Howard says definitely not. Uh, Howard is too much of a winner. If, uh, if he were to lose, he would come right back. There's no question in my mind that he would. Howard's been looking very good up to this point. We began round four of this lightweight championship bout. Through the first three, how do you score? Well, it looks like Jackson took the first two rounds. Number three could have gone either way. I would have given the number three to Benny myself. Because Benny is now picking the shots a little better. Looks like Benny's starting to really pour the pressure on now. Look at your kitties. He is back in the man. He just won't let him out of there. Yep, he's been holding back, letting Jackson spend a little energy. And now he's going to see if Jackson can stand up under the pressure. Jackson had some of the quickest hands that ever existed in light contact karate, and they seem to be paying off really well for him here today. I'm impressed with his boxing skills. Jackson has done a good job in that phase. Very quick hands. Very quick hands. You can see your PD has great savvy in the ring. He just seems to be complete control. Yeah, it, that experience really pays off. He's had five times the number of fights that Howard Jackson has had, and I think as we go ahead on into the fight that we'll see that that will make a big difference. Well, you know, he's won over Howard Adler. really well with strong hand combinations. There's seven. He's asking him if he wants to fight, and he's called it. He calls the fight. In the fourth round, and that was kind of an inside punch. Joe. It was a real short left hook that caught him and started. There's the back flip by Benny Ortiz. That's what we were telling you about. It was a short left hook that caught him, and then he followed up with some very powerful hand combinations. So Benny Urquidez has just won his 31st fight. He successfully defended his lightweight championship, and I would say impressively, here in the fourth round. And early, it looked like Jackson might be pulling an upset. So we had him winning the first two rounds, and here at 126 of the fourth round, it's all over, as Benny Urquidez has defeated Howard Jackson from Denver, Colorado.
for the lightweight crowd. 